Hello friends, it's Angelina here from Walking Nature World and today I'm coming to you with the full review of my favorite women backpack Kachua MH520 liters that I feel like has been the best backpack for me so far. I was carrying it with me for the Tour de Mont Blanc hike, Dolomites hiking, Via Francicina and here in Pyrenees. So it's got quite a bit of tests for a year of use now, so I'm ready to share with you my opinion about it. We're going to talk about the technical specs of it, its comfort, features and advantages and disadvantages of it. So without further ado, let's begin! First off, I wanted to start by saying you that the 20 liter volume of a backpack is just perfect for me. And we found it by test, because at first I was trying to carry a 50 liter one and it was apparently too much for me. I feel like this volume is the best match for me. It is not too big, nor too small, and I can fit there everything needed without carrying an excessive weight. So it normally weighs around 6 kilograms when packed. Starting with the technical specs of it, I would say that it is incredibly light, and even though it has a rigid structure at the back, its empty weight is only around 1.1 kilograms. The dimensions of this backpack are 56 cm high, 28 cm wide and 21 cm deep. It is made mainly of polyester fabric and the Decathlon store gives you a warranty of 10 years for this backpack. Talking about its features, one of the main ones I would say is how lightweight it is. With a lot of mesh all around the backpack and with how ventilated is the spine. Also it has all the necessary straps and different compartments for storage. It has 5 outer pockets, 2 waist pockets, 1 main compartment and 1 water compartment. Now let's discuss it all more in depth. The main compartment of the backpack has two standard fasteners to open that are possible to adjust as well. And then here in between I normally carry a mat and it fits too tight to be honest with you, so I would give it more length, I would give these straps more length. And unfortunately there is no other place to fasten the mat really. So it has a double zipper on one side for an easy access. I would personally add another zipper at the very bottom to be able to access the things that are deep down. A rope pulls the upper part of the main compartment together, like this. Also it has a snap up here. Inside the main department doesn't have any extra zippers or pockets, which is nice I think, because it gives you more freedom to pack things as you like and doesn't add an excessive weight. There's only a small internal pocket on a zipper. Each inside also has the hook for the keys, which is nice I think, because it makes it hard to lose. In this little pocket I normally carry a small first aid kit, a thread and a needle and a small things alike. Then there is quite a big pocket in the back for carrying some flat things, but I normally just leave it empty so that it doesn't take any extra space inside. But this pocket was initially sought for carrying the water bladder because it has a zipper up here so that you can take the pipe outside and also there is a hook where you can fasten the water bladder. I also thought that it may be a nice idea to carry a water bladder in the mesh spine as it has enough room and this way it won't take space inside the backpack, so it is just an idea. At the very bottom of the backpack you have a small pocket for the rain cover that is built in with the backpack and you won't fit anything else there. The rain cover itself is very lightweight and covering nicely all the backpack when needed. Also here at the bottom there is a loop for hanging the backpack probably. At the upper part there is a standard holder to lift up the pack then goes the upper compartment, which is not that big actually. And what I don't like about it is how narrow the opening is. And because of that I have to squeeze in many things in there. Inside it is much wider. And here I normally carry my cosmetic bag, sunscreen and other essentials. This compartment is attached to the backpack and you can't take it off. On this side there is another pocket, which is quite big, for carrying some flat things probably. Here I normally carry some pieces of paper, a pencil, dry and wet wipes. The mesh part of the front is also a pocket, great for carrying some snacks and maybe some small clothes. Just be aware that it is not very solid and can tear apart very easily. As you can see it already has a small hole there. That appeared when I was carrying there a plastic bag with the nuts and this plastic bag had sharp edges that tore this material. But I think this kind of material was chosen to make it more lightweight, so it is just something to be aware of. On the sides it has two pockets for the water bottles that are stretching quite well and they are made of the same mesh fabric as the front pocket. On the hip belt on both sides there are two mesh pockets on zippers that are very convenient to carry the mobile phone, compact photo camera, etc. Most of the backpacks has only one such pocket, so it is a nice addition I think. Also there is elastic rope pole holder on one side. On the side of the backpack there are straps to expand or narrow the volume of the backpack. 
The hip belt itself, as you can see, is also made out of the breathable fabric and has two big splits or holes on the sides for the better airflow. And I think it is a great advantage to it. The hip belt is quite solid and durable too. The same thing I can say about the shoulder straps. They are breathable and quite solid. Also here it has the sternum strap and two thumb loops. The main and probably one of the best features for me of this backpack is its solid frame and the back and its ventilated stretch net. So this bag is durable and solid, has an ergonomic shape for the spine and it prevents from the things inside your pack sticking out into your spine. So it is very hard to deform. The net itself is quite durable too and very tight, so nothing happened to it during the whole season. The frame itself is composed from the aluminum bars that go over the whole perimeter of the backpack and lengthwise as well. And here in this gap I even carried sometimes some snacks or other small and lightweight things alike. At the lower back there are pads that are not very soft but still provide some comfort. So when you put on this backpack you fasten and tighten the hip belt, then you tighten the shoulder straps and you can adjust the distance of a backpack to your shoulders as well by pulling the straps upwards. Also there is an adjustable sternum strap and two thumb loops for resting the hands and supporting the shoulders when you are hiking. This backpack is available on Decathlon store of your country and it comes in two colors, carbon gray and black. The price is around 40 euros or 40 pounds. So concluding this in-depth review, I will definitely state that this backpack has all that I was looking for. In the future, when this one wears out, I plan to purchase the same model if it will be available. Quality-wise, it is quite durable and the carrying comfort is on the top level. It offers great stability, weight distribution, it's light and easy to carry, ergonomic shape and it has incredible back ventilation, so that it won't make you too hot and sweaty. I really hope that it will serve me for a season or two more and I plan to keep this review updated in the comments below. Now I'm curious to know what is your favorite bag to carry? Leave your answers in the comment section below the video and don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more gear reviews like this one, subscribe to our YouTube channel to never miss one. And don't forget to click notification bell next to the subscribe button to be notified when our new video is out. And that was all I was willing to share with you today and I'm saying goodbye for now. See you very soon guys! Bye!